Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So what we're going to do today is we have found out that there's a scientist that might be interested in working on the Argo for us. She does do um, work on um, KF drive vehicles, but right now she's sort of employed on this planet. And we, if we're going to get her to uh, come work for us, we need to kind of basically rescue her from the facility she's in. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack that facility and uh, hopefully be able to rescue her. Now she is under heavy guard, heavy guard. So it's about a four and a half skull mission. So we're going to uh, attempt this and see what we can do. I'll see you guys down on the planet. Command interface initiated. All right, so here we are on the ground. Now she's up in that facility up there. So we got to get up there as best we can and get the heck out of here. Now I have no idea what kind of uh, enemy forces we're going to be up against. And we're starting off low down here, which is could be a difficulty. Um, so we're going to reserve back to turn one and see what we can do here. Our lance is, is uh, rated at about... Ooh, there's an 85-tonner. Our lance is, is uh, rated at about um, three skulls. And we're again we're against four and a half, so this should be really really interesting. Now, 85 ton are moving on turn two or turn three it means he's got a command module or something in him. So I have no idea what it could what it could be. So we're gonna get height moving up. Um, be able to see the mech from here. So let's move forward. We got a battle master. So what is this guy? He's got a command cockpit, so let's target this guy and take him down. Triple XL engine, so side torso is open game. Hardened armor, lots of armor on this guy. So we're going to really have to punish him hard here. Okay, so um, we're going to hold off with the ATMs until we get a little closer. Another assault class, another battle master. Okay, so what are we looking at with this guy? So this is a regular battle master. No XL engine or anything. Three Fusion Core 340, okay. So he's just a stock one. So we're gonna just say hello here. So let's just move up. He's starting off with missiles. We're going to start off with a couple PPCs and some missiles. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. Ugh, can't afford those PPCs missing. Okay, there's a head hit. Something with a Gauss rifle over there. 100 tonner. Great. So we really need to be careful here. Try and bring this battle master down as fast as we can. Let's fire everything. Okay, nice. Heavy Goss hits. He's unstable. And I don't think Flatliner is going to be close enough for the dead fire ammo. Oh, he is. So that's excellent. So we're going to fire straight in on this guy. Hopefully knock his ass down. Okay, so this match is really going to be about positioning here. Two of four. So what's this guy doing? And who are you shooting at? Do you have a rack? Is that what you have? You got, yeah, AC5 rotary. Two ER mediums, that's from six, and PPC snub nose. So he's got some, some hella good stuff on him. So, let's move. How are we going to play this now? We should stay out of the sight of this guy until the last minute. So let's come around here. We can't. 
thought we could get around. Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked on walk. There we go. So we're going to come around here. And we're going to fire our LRM racks straight, straight in the Battlemaster. Just going to fire everything. Going to look for a head hit here, see if we can get one. Nope. Couldn't get that lucky. So they got more guys somewhere. So they probably have reinforcements coming in. Oh, no, sorry, never mind, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pay attention. Okay, so, um, height. Let's get you, since you've got really great evasion, can we get a direct fire shot? We can. We're gonna move into here. Affirmative, Commander. Gonna fire on this Battlemaster again. Try for a headshot again, but we'll just unload everything. Nope. Okay, Van Skater, you're gonna move forward. You're a CT shot for him, please. Gonna go for CT. We're gonna finish this guy up. We can't let him get up. Okay, so he's down. So the next mech we go after this is the Battlemaster. I'm hoping it's just these three, but we'll see. Uh, what's our chance to hit from here? Pretty darn good. So we're gonna rot actually we're gonna turn more so we can see our front. I wanna spread that damage all over the place here. I don't wanna get have him take my arms off. So we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Okay, so massive stability problems for him now. Hunter Tunner's gotta move forward. Oh, we got another bogey here. What do we got? Another 100 tonner. Great. Yeah, good luck on height. So if we can pull the second battle master down. Well, let's see what we can do here. So we go, then they go. So who do we want to move first here? If we reserve, then he goes and we all go. So let's reserve and see what this guy does. I want him to come closer. Nope. Okay. You want us to come up so you can target us. I see what you're doing. Waiting for orders. Is this what we want to do, though? Is there nowhere back here we can move to get a, a back shot on this guy? I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna shoot this guy again. Now he's um, stabilized there, but. Okay, two leg shots, excellent. Okay, a little bit of instability on him. So let's get Flatliner around. We can see a direct shot, direct line of fire from here, and his right side has only lasers in it. So we're going to turn the right side to the enemy, primarily, and we're going to fire everything straight on this guy and hopefully destabilize him. Okay, so now Van Skater can step up to here. And then what we do is we use an offensive push, target this leg, and hope, hopefully we get lucky on it. Nice! There's the knockdown. Yeah, he's gonna ignore he's gonna ignore several injuries. So let's get height back to a point where the other guy can't see us. Maybe like right back here. And then we're going to fire on this guy again, we're going to shoot for the leg. I'm on him. Okay, so that leg's gone. Okay. Okay, the hunter tunners are really slow, which is good. So, do we reserve? Yeah, we're going to reserve because... Um, 
Yeah, you got an opening right here, buddy. Okay. I'm just reserving because I want to fire with the Warhammer first. Uh, we're going to target the leg. I'm going to leave off the LRMs and fire the rest. Something tells me that wasn't leg hits. Uh, a little bit in the leg. A lot in the CT, though. All right, so those 100 tonners are really slow, so we're not going to move from here. I think we're probably in good positioning here, as long as we can take this guy down. So we're going to go for leg shot with a heavy Gauss rifle. That doesn't look like a leg shot to me. That was a torso shot. Oh, okay, we did get a leg shot, though. I'm ready. Um, height. Let's attack. And we're going to go for a leg shot. We're going to fire everything. Here we go. Damn it. Come on, man. Um, I'm going to move you up a bit. Acknowledge, Commander. And then Flatliner, same idea. Just going to attack straight out. Going to go for that leg. What are we down to here? 42. So let's go with... Um, I don't want to fire too much and blow him up. What's he got in his... Because that'll kill him there, the torso, for 40. Well, you know what? Let's try this. Wow, we got him. Do the math, Chief. One less target. One less target. Okay, so that was really good. So we got a command cockpit now. King Crab. Okay, everybody. Everybody's on the crab now. So, we need to rotate our fire. Um, what are your orders, Skipper? There is no direct line of fire except for up here. Question is, is do we want to do that? We're going to kill this guy. We have to, though. That's the thing. Hmm. Going to need to knock him down, though. Definitely going to need to knock him down if we're going to do this. Can I get in to see him though? Know where I can go where I can see this guy. So do we sucker him in and let this other 100 tonner get close or do we go after him? And try and knock him down. That's a lot of firepower though, right? I mean, we gotta take him on somehow. Two gosses, large pulse, two streak, LRM 15. And that's a shit ton of armor. Hmm. This guy's still two turns out if we move up here. Need something, Chief? Oh god, I don't know. Standing by. Let's start with you. Full speed, no target. No, we got a target. We got a target right here. You got to hit with that Goss, man. Roger. Excellent. Okay, so that's a good start. Now, Flatliner. To here. Okay, he's got some pretty good evasions, so... I'm going to go with the LR. We're going to fire everything. Okay, so he's lost stability. Then we should Come do on. height. He's going to move to right here. And fire on him. We'll leave one medium laser off. We need more than that off. So two medium lasers, I guess. Fire everything else. Engage, 
Okay, so there's the knockdown. He's got a lot of health. Okay, so we're going to sprint over here. We need to get up here. Uh, and we're going to fire with the LRMs. And we're going to go for the torso here. Now to 94. See what we can do on it. Kind of got what we came for. The Battlemaster that we took down, the Command Battlemaster, is pretty much got the gear we want. He's going to move forward again. Thank goodness for the misses. Great. Oh, God. Thank God for the misses. Okay, so how destabilized are you? Not very. So we definitely need to move as much as we can. God, what do we do? Let's just do this. Let's just do it. We gotta pull this crab down. Everybody get on this guy and get him down. Okay, so that's it for him. And we're gonna move back to... here. We wanna try and get it so that he can't jump behind us. We're gonna fire everything straight in on this guy. Okay, height. It's back up to here. And we will fire as much as we can on this guy. We gotta destabilize him, so let's go with the ATMs. Okay, so he's unstable now. And let's back up. On my way. So we've had one turn to cool down now, so we're going to fire everything straight on this guy. 99% chance to hit. Hopefully we knock him down. There's the knockdown. Now let's see what he does. Bet you he jumps again. Yep. Yeah, see, we were just trying to make sure that we didn't get he didn't get a chance to get behind us. Standing like by. we're about to do to him. Yeah, let's leave this off, fire everything else. I think things are going swimming. So lots of stability problems. Main skater attacking from behind. Just gonna fire straight out. And that's it for him. No retreat. No retreat. No surrender. Alright, buddy. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. Let's go get ourselves a scientist. So I don't want to say that was an easy mission. That could have gone south in the worst ways. I think we got really lucky the fact that that uh, Marauder missed on that jump there. If you'd done death from above, that could have been that would have been it for one of our guys. All right, we're almost there. So overall, a really good mission. Really good loot. Let's take height up in there. Can you get all the way in? Nope. Almost though. So I'm gonna make sure we all go up here because I don't know if we're gonna be fighting another Lance. Roger. 
it would be really bad if we did have to fight a hold on their lands. Ready for orders. Especially in the, in the assault category. Roger that. But if we have some height advantage and some cover, we should be okay. Copy that. So I'm kind of crediting the uh, the nice mixed abilities of what you can't even get around there. Yep. The mixed um, splash and uh, pinpoint damage weapons. I think if we were running lighter boats like lighter like medium laser boats or SRM boats I think it would be tough to pull this off but the, the ra having the ranged weapons um, even the ATMs um, it's really really helping us here and if you're gonna use missile weapons they you know they definitely have to do around eight damage each all right buddy let's finish this up Pick up the scientist and get out of here. For the right Let's hope that's it. That's it. Command. Nice. Okay, really well performed mission. 18,000. It's at least that much in, in uh, repair cost, but we got another 1,800 in experience too, which is awesome. And there's all the parts. Look at that. Battlemaster parts, like crazy King Crab parts. Marauder 2 parts, awesome. So now we need to decide what we're going to take here. We've got Ottery Rotor, we got Goss Rifles, um, PBC Double Plus, uh, Evasion, Accuracy, and Recoil, not a big deal. SRM 2s, no, what we want is ooh, the Triple XL engine for cash, Exchanger for sure. This gyro will be nice. Did we lose the cockpit? Did we lose the command cockpit? I guess we did. We didn't destroy the Battlemaster's... I guess he punched... No, he didn't punch out. We blew his legs off. Indirect fire. We don't really need that. Double heat sinks. Well, the XL gyro for sure in the fusion core. We'll go that route. I thought we would have got the command console. Oh, stealth armor. That's another possibility. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. Let's lose the fusion core. Let's go with gear we can we know we're gonna use here. So stealth armor for sure we're gonna use. I'm kind of dis disappointed we oh you know what? I think the command consoles get destroyed with the mech. I don't think you get to keep them. Yeah, I think that's what happens. Oh well. Can't have everything. So I think we're going to go this route. Okay, one Battlemaster part, that's it. But one, two King Crab parts and two Marauder 2 parts. So we're on our way to start getting Assault Mechs, which is awesome. SRM2 Double Plus, anything else here we got? Those are the four that we chose. Nothing. And 9,000 in repairs, which is not bad. So we didn't lose any, we didn't lose any money on this mission, which is good. But now we've got uh, our guys in repair here. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to run one more mission and then leave this planet. Um, so that'll be with our other Lance. And we'll probably do something for cash um, because we do need to get our two last components up and running. And that's basically uh, 1.7 mil and 2.25 mil. So we've got the 1.7 right now, but we need to have enough for our next financial report, which is 578. I think it'll probably be a little bit more than this once these mechs come back from work in progress here. So, yeah. Um, we'll end the episode here for today. And I'll sell a bunch of stuff in between episodes, between this one and the next one. So we'll see, we'll see what kind of funds we have, and we'll see if we can get another uh, ship upgrade here. And then we'll pull off one more mission before we leave this planet. So if you liked the video, please drop a like. And feel free to subscribe if this is the first time you've been watching. And... You know, we'll see you next time.